What you're looking at here is a magic square. Many of the people who watch my videos have seen this particular square before. Shout out to William Sullivan who helped me put together most of these visuals. Now just like any other magic square, each individual row sums to the same number. Add up the columns, each individual column sums to the same number. Add up the diagonals, the individual diagonals sum to 1776. Add up the four corner cells. Add up the four boxes in each corner. The sum is 1776. Look at the four boxes in the center. The four center cells sum to 1776. Again, shout out to William Sullivan. I'll leave a link for his channel and the playlist that we were working on and we're going to continue to work on. So, if you didn't know about this, this magic square is special because when it flipped upside down, you get the same result. So, if you look at the top left, you see 218 and some other numbers. But when you flip that upside down, it's going to end up at the bottom, the bottom right. So, the 218... When you flip that upside down, it's going to look like 812. And it's not just backwards, you see. When it appears like this, you see the 812 at the bottom, it's the what's known as the 7-segment display. It's like digital clocks or um, old calculators and whatnot. And you might have noticed the only digits used in this magic square are 1, 2, 5, and 8. 5 is a reflection of the 2. Imagine, see the 2, the top left? Imagine putting a mirror below it, then you have that 5. The 2 upside down becomes a 2. The 2 in the mirror can look like a 5. So, I'm going to show you something that William Sullivan put together for me. And I'll leave some links in the description box. I think the only confusing part will be when you see a character, the Mirror Master. That's when this magic, magic square has been mirrored. And just watch the video a couple of times if, if you can't figure it out the first time. Unbelievable that old Biff could have chosen that particular date. It could be that that point in time inherently contains some sort of cosmic significance. Almost as if it were the temporal junction point of the entire space-time continuum. On the other hand, it could just be an amazing coincidence.
Check out the description box for the inspiration behind this particular magic square.